Hello! We are going to be working on the G major scale in preparation to play some of the songs from our packet in G major. Um, you always want to practice the scale of a song before you play the song so the sounds of the notes are correct and so that our fingers feel confident going to the right spots for each string. The notes are different on each string for the key of G major. High two on the G string, high two on the D string, low two on the A string, low two on the E string. This page is page one in our course packet, and uh, I'm going to start with the open strings for tuning purposes, and then we're going to go right into the exercises. We should probably tune the A string together first. Here's A and E together. Here's E. Okay, now I'm going to play A and D together. Here is just D. Then D and G. And then G by itself. Okay. So now we're ready to play. Here's <clears throat> the first exercise. This is the open strings plus, uh, this is the open G and D plus the three on D. So we're listening very closely for the sound. Uh, one, two, here we go. Let's try that again. One, two, here we go. for the second part of that exercise. This will involve also using the three on D. Now three. Both. Now do it again, here we go. Three on D. And it's important to practice lining up the third finger on the D string with the open G string sound. We are matching the note of G, open G, with the sound of third finger G on the D string. Two different notes on two different strings, but they sound like the same note, G. In music, when notes have the same letter name, but they are different levels, um, that's called an octave. So the low G, the open G, that's right here. And then eight notes above that is three on the D string. And they'll sound related. Obviously one is low, one is high. Uh, there are many notes called G on our violin, but these are the two uh, that we are tuning up at the moment. Now, go, going on. Um, the G major scale, starting on open G, open one, two, three, and that's with a high two. And then the D string, open one, two, three. That's also with the high two. Here I go, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> play that again. This time I'm going to pay careful attention to the way it's written. In, in this uh, particular scale, they go open one, two, three, open D, one, two, three, two, one, oh, three, two, one, oh. Okay, so they play the top note three on D one time. Uh, so that's how I'll play it this time. Here we go, nice and easy. One, two, ready, go. I'm going to move on 
we're going to play now the upper eight notes of the G major scale. This is the upper octave. Remember, I used that word, octave, to describe notes that are the same letter, but different level. Okay, so there's the open G, three on D, two on E. All three of those notes are G. Open G. And then three on D. Okay, and then the and then the low two on the E string. So here I go. I'm gonna start with um, three on the D string. And I'm looking in the third line of this page um, where it says, place the second finger close to the first finger. Keep the first finger down. Um, we're playing that third line of music here. This is the, the G major scale. So here we go. Uh, three on three on D. Open A. One. This is low two. See so yeah, it's low. It's um, close to the first finger. Then then we go to three. Now open E. One. Low two. Low two is close together with one. I'm going to do that again. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that again. One, two, ready, go. Three, open A, one, low two, three, open E, one, low two. Now we're going to go all the way up and then back down. Starting with three on the D string, all the way up to low two on the E string, and then back down to three on D. This is the upper octave of the G major scale. Ready, go. Let's play the fourth line here. This is the G scale starting on open G, going all the way up to the E string, low second finger. This is both octaves, two octaves of G major scale. The finger pattern is high two on the G string, high two on the D string, low two on the A string, and low two on the E string. Just as a reminder, in the G major scale, we go up to the second finger on the E string. That note is called G. Then we go back down. So we don't play the third finger on the E string for the G major scale. We're going to use that in our songs, but for purposes of this scale, it sounds more correct if we just go G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back down. F, E, D, C, B, A, G. Um, we don't go up to three on E. So here we go. I'm going to play both octaves. One, two, ready, go. play it a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. Before I go faster, let's talk about what the bow is doing. If I turn like this, for me right now, this is like I'm standing in front of a mirror. Of course, I'm really just standing at the oblique of my phone, and I'm looking in the screen to see that my bow is making a T, or a plus, or a right angle, that my bow is moving perpendicular to the strings, not at a 
uh, an X or, a, or of just, you know, an incorrect angle. Um, we we want to be neither acute or obtuse, but perpendicular. Okay, so here I go again. Watch my bow as I play this two octave scale a little bit faster, and let's see how straight my bow is. One, two, ready, go. do that one more time without careful attention to the straightness of my bow. Sometimes if we lock our elbow, we get an unpleasing sound coming from a bad motion of the arm. And it may sound like this. So as we practice, we want to make sure to move our bow straight with the string, review the fingerings before we start, and start slow. Practice often. All right, now let's hear just one time what a really fast G major scale two octaves should sound like with a straight bow. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Have fun.